morning, everybody. So we have done some work with what are rational numbers. We've done some work with adding integers and rational numbers. Today, I want to focus on subtracting integers and rational numbers. Now, I'm kind of disagreeing with myself in these lesson titles, but I'm trying to match them up with our curriculum. I don't want you to think about adding or subtracting, okay? I want you to think about this word again, combining. How can I combine positive and negative numbers, including quote unquote double negatives, efficiently, okay? Remember the minus sign, this guy right here, means opposite. So, negative 6 is the opposite of 6. Negative negative 6 is the opposite of negative 6, so it is positive. Okay, and we've used logic like this since we were toddlers. This isn't new, but sometimes combining it with numbers makes your head spin a little bit. Okay, so let's think about that. If I have zero on a number line, okay, and I put six here, and I said, well, what's the opposite of six? You guys would say, and you should write this in as well. Well, it's negative six, Mrs. Atkinson. Okay. But notice if I said, what is the opposite of negative six? You guys would say six. So when we have two negative signs together like this, and we'll learn a little bit more about this going forward um, as far as the why, but you're just saying the opposite of negative six. Okay, so we're not doing anything new. We are still combining, we're still having battles, we're still having teamwork, okay? So we're just gonna do some examples so that I can show you maybe a little bit more clearly. Okay, now, my advice. Sometimes simplifying the expression to reduce the number of signs or symbols will make things more clear to you. So let's take a look at just this first one. Negative three minus five, or negative three and negative five, we're combining them. Well, if I owe my sister $3 and my brother $5, okay, they're all negative. There are eight negatives, so the value is negative eight. That's how much money I owe, okay? Now watch when we have a double negative. Negative of a negative is really a positive. So what if we wrote, rewrote it this way, negative three Negative of a negative is positive. Well, now we have a negative three and a positive five, okay? Three negatives. Five positives. Well, we definitely have more positives, so we know our answer is gonna be positive. Eliminate, eliminate, eliminate. Well, there went that battle. And we're left with two positives standing, which we would then just write the answer as two because the positive symbol is invisible. We don't write that with good manners. Okay, so still doing a battle. The signs didn't match. Still have zero pairs. 
Boom. All right, well, great. That's nice on, you know, numbers I can do on my fingers, but what, what about when they get complicated? Well, let's look. What about when they get complicated? I have negative 7.5 and positive 7.6. Okay, negative 7.5, positive 7.6. My signs don't match. I have a battle. This is the bigger distance from zero. This is the bigger absolute value. So I know my answer is positive. By how much? Well, this is 0.1 bigger than the other one. That's it. Okay? That's the whole biggie difference right there. So my answer is one-tenth. And we think, oh, that's not that important. Well, it is if it's one-tenth of a million dollars. Okay? So those numbers are still important. Now, what about when I have a double negative here? Okay, I have negatives here, but here I have a double negative. That makes a positive, so let's rewrite it. Negative 4.5 combined with positive, because it's the opposite of negative, 6.1. That one's bigger, so we're gonna have a positive answer again. But how much bigger? Okay. So we know that we have to find the difference in distance. I just find the difference between the two values without signs, their absolute value. One point six. So are you guys going to get practice with your work with decimals and fractions? Absolutely you are. Okay. But notice that the greater sign wins. Okay. So go ahead and give some of these a try. 